Okay, let's turn the Rick Ashley off. Welcome to, oh boy, oh boy. As a motorcycle rides by, I have the Ghost Rider here. Let me, no, I'll leave it open for, it's hot in the garage. I got an AC in here, but it's not that hot yet. So what I mean by one of the best and worst figures I've purchased, I'll say that because just looking at him here, He's striking. He looks cool. Even though the suit... Well, okay, I guess I'll get to the positive. I like the portrait when you look dead on. I like the way the uh, flames look. You know what? We gotta shut that garage door, folks. I'm sorry. Shutting the door. The door will close. And we can talk about... The Ghost Rider. All right, as, as good as I think it looks sitting here in this leather outfit, I also think it's woefully kind of boring, okay? They could have had some spikes. They could have had a stripe in the pants. They could have given him gray leather pants. They could have given him something to break up all this black. The boots have nice detail. The gloves have little studs in them. They look fine. The shading in the skull is fine. The bike looks great, even though on the box, this part is flat across or straight across, and it has teeth in it. And it looks so much, it looks like the catch, a little like the catch bike, Danny catch bike, but shrunken down. It, this bike looks like it's something that Blade would ride in. Doesn't scream Ghost Rider, but it is nice. The effects are nice. This is the best. This is the best you're going to get with this figure, though. That right there. And, and I'm one of them type of collectors. If I can get it in a good pose, slap it on the shelf, I'm not totally bummed about my purchase. And I'm not. But a lot of things about this is to this figure are total shit. First of all, let's get this effect out of here. Let's get this... Uh, they put a wire in there, which is cool. The company's doing that. It's cool because they gave him a... This is useless. This one's useless. It's, it's like molded to come into his fucking friggin' body. I guess if you lay it on the ground, I, I don't know. That one should have been had a wire as well. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because in the Mezco group, someone pointed out and someone, of course, tried to shoot that guy down. But I'm the second guy to point it out and they'll probably, you know... In the Mezco group, even though people can critique stuff, you will have those people that just will not accept it. His feet, folks, it does not reach that pedal. His foot does not reach that pedal. Let's go. And he, does, he doesn't look too small for the bike physically. His foot just does not reach that pedal. And his head has no articulation, like swivel, up and down motion, because it is has an LED effect for flames. Should have came with two heads. So you can't have him doing anything dynamic. And he has a slight underbite when his mouth is open. Look at how Mythic Legions, their skull, when it goes out, still teeth are still lined up. This guy has a Fire Marshal Bill underbite. You know? On the bike, unless you're coming dead on, I guess you can get a cool look, but that's it. Straight on. He can't move around the bike. I am going to put him. Also, should have came with a second head that had full neck swivel because Marvel Legends, for, for a quarter of the price, you know, could do everything you want with the head. And I think a painted flame effect head looks better because I'm going to be honest. The LED gimmick is only cool if you're a kid playing with a toy. When do you use features? Even in my Galactus, I, I use that light up feature once. When do you run around using light features for toys as an adult? When? Now, if it had a, a little remote, I could do it from my couch. Be like, hey, look at this. Look at this. I'm going to light up that flame. Boom. And then impress somebody once. That'd be awesome. I know the Hot Toys RoboCop has a radio control for his voice effects. So if someone walks by, you could be like, drop it. You know, if they got like your last beer or something, that's fun. 
but light effects just boost up the price. This bike does some cool, cool, cool stuff all over, but look how much, look at This dude's foot is reaching the pedal. Actually, that looks awesome. That, you know why it looks awesome? Because you can get him, I'm not doing much, but just the head movement, you know what I mean? And, and see that little paint stripe on there? They could have did that with him. <sighs> I, I don't know, I, like I said, the, the appeal for, for Mezco is the cloth goods. It's like you have a tiny little actor in your hands, but I don't know. Let me show you what the bike does. I, like every review, I saw one dude critique this uh, thing because he's too short for the bike. So, lights up. Mm. The head. The head, ha the, the flame effect has like a um, flicker. I mean, that, I, listen, I'm not an idiot. That shit's awesome. But I'm, I'm not going to do that every day. You'll wear the batteries out, first of all. And it's, it's a gimmick. It's just a gimmick. Looks cool now. But at the end of the day, I'd rather just have a painted. Should have came with two heads. Then, then none of that would have been an issue. Should have came with two heads. Can he sit down in a throne? Well, he, sat, he can sit down on the bike, so yes. Yes, he can. Ultimately, you got a guy with a skull head in a boring leather suit that doesn't fit his bike. And that's a bummer because there is a lot of cool things about this. I, I think overall they just mailed it in. I, I don't know. They put a lot of effort into that bike. You know how I know they mailed it in? They made a Judge Dredd about five years ago. The Judge Dread was sold separately and with the Lawmaster. You know why? Because separately, it was still a really impressive Judge Dread figure. And by himself, this is not an impressive Ghost Rider figure. That's the facts. Take care, have fun. If you like what I'm saying, please subscribe. If not, well, you know, can't win them all.